Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if this is your first time. Hit like and subscribe down, down, down below, it really does help the channel grow. I really want to hit a thousand subscribers in the next month or so if I can. Um, like I said in my last video, I'm looking uh, at running a competition when I hit a thousand subscribers as a bit of a celebration thing for it. Um, at yet, as yet, I'm unsure what that's going to take the form of um what the prize is going to be i don't know but watch this space anyway so on with today's video today's video is a very short vinyl finds video um i've not been buying a lot over the last few weeks i didn't do record store day uh, there were reasons for that um mostly financial <laughs> um it just came at the wrong time for me um i had other expenses that I had to invest in, and unfortunately, uh, they took the priority over buying records. Um, but I do intend to buy two or three record store day releases, but I'm going to have to buy them on the secondary market. There was a two or three I was interested in, but at the moment, unfortunately, I didn't manage to get there. I think next year I'll plan it ahead more. Um, put some money to one side. I did last year, I put some money to one side, but this year I was a little bit un, un disorganised, I think is the word. <laughs> but anyway, on with today's video. And the first vinyl find is um, a record that you don't hear much of, and that is uh, The Everlasting Love Affair. This is the debut album by the... Um, mod band if you like uh the love affair uh this come out in 1968 i'd like to say uh steve ellis the lead singer at the time was 16 17 years old i think he was born in 1940 so he would have been when everlasting love come out he was 17 and the album came out after that um i've had a bit of an obsession with the song everlasting love for about the last on and off for about the last three or four months I've been watching the videos on YouTube and stuff like that and in the end I thought you know I want to buy it so I bought the album and uh, I'm actually going to do a separate video around this at some point because there's some interesting things about this record that I'd like to discuss further but um, it does sound good uh, the title track well I say the title track the the everlasting love affair Everlasting Love sounds absolutely brilliant on this. It's on the CBS label. Um, like I say, it was their debut album, um, and I really like it. I was pleasantly surprised it was bought on a punt. I bought it just for one track, really, um, but the rest of it's good as well. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'll discuss that in a separate video, I think. But yeah, The Everlasting Love Affair by the love affair next one is an interesting one i've been after this for a long time um and that is the reissue of arthur or the decline and fall of the british empire by the kinks uh, this is a gatefold this is the remaster um, i have got the shrink that came with it So there you can see Arthur, or the decline and fall of the British Empire. 50th anniversary, 2LP set, remastered stereo album, singles and BBC mixes, Dave Davis solo tracks, deluxe gatefold packaging, heavyweight vinyl, booklet with sleeve notes, band interviews and rare images. Uh, so I'll say <coughs> off the bat, this was mastered by Kevin Gray at Coherent in America. I highly suspect it's digital, it's not analogue, uh, but it still sounds good. Um, both records, I mean, it comes in a really good gatefold. Let's just open the gatefold for you. There you go with the old, the old kangaroo. Oh, cool, it's upside down. There we go. The old kangaroo. So this was released at a time... Um, it's sort of a, a, a period piece, this album. Um, there's a track on it called Australia, 
Uh, this was released at a time when in the UK um, you could actually emigrate to Australia for £10. If you had £10 you could go to Australia and lots of people did it in the early 70s and that's what the song Australia is about. <clears throat> it's about a certain period in time and uh, this is a great album. I actually think now this is my favourite Kings album. Um, this has got a separate album on it. It's quite a, a second album, sorry. Yeah, I can't get it out now. Oh, can't get that record out. Anyway, we have the booklet that comes with it. Which is quite nice. Now, I did buy this from a dealer on Discogs. It was sold to me, sealed in mint condition, brand new. So, uh, yeah, it arrived sealed. However, uh, as with all these things, there is a bit of a split there where it split the cover. It's quite heavy heavy cover but yeah Arthur the Kinks uh, now my go-to Kinks album uh, really like this album and uh, I'm gonna play this after I finish filming this video and on to the last one right, let me just put that away one second on to the last one right so in one of my recent um, uh, unboxing uh, unboxing in one of my recent uh, vinyl finds videos I showed that I bought uh, Folklore by Taylor Swift. Now, I bought that album on a punt, never heard it before, and I saw a video on YouTube of Stephen Wilson talking about it, and he said, like, this album's really, really good. Um, it's accessible, but it's really um, a more folky side of Taylor Swift, and I like that, so I bought that on a punt, I was pleasantly surprised actually. I'm not a, I'm not a Swifty, but um, I did appreciate that album for what it was. Um, I'm now kicking myself because I didn't buy the uh, Record Store Day release of that album last year. The, uh, the Pond Sessions, I think it was called, or something like that. That's now going for £250, that, that Record Store Day release, and I had the opportunity of buying it for £32. Go figure. Anyhow, um, I took another pump. Um, the Torture Poets Department. Yeah, I bought it. I bought it. I bought it before I'd heard anything on it. Bought it on a pump. Comes on white vinyl. I bought this direct from her website. Um, comes, it's a gatefold, I'm not going to open it, but it comes in a gatefold. You've got a lovely book stuck inside the gatefold, sort of similar to um, the Sergeant, uh, the Magical Mystery Tour Beatles US album. You open it up and you've got the book stuck to the inner cover. But it's, this is um, a really good package actually. But the key thing is, what's it like? Um, this is coming from someone who's as far away from being a Taylor Swift fan as you could likely find. I actually found it quite enjoyable to listen to. Um, anyone that watches this video, uh, watches my videos, knows that I'm a huge Lana Del Rey fan. Um, I don't think it's any secret that, sh that Taylor Swift is a very, very good friend and close friend of Lana Del Rey's. And listening to this. It shows because I think she's getting influence from Lana Del Rey. Um, I think maybe Lana Del Rey's giving her. She's getting ideas. They. I'm not saying that she's worked with her at all, but I think subconsciously Taylor Swift is listening to Lana Del Rey and she's putting some of that influence into her own music. A lot of the songs on this are slower. They're not pop songs. Um, these are more sort of thought-provoking songs. She swears a bit. 
you know, sort of very Lana Del Rey. She swears the F-bomb once or twice. Um, I think she's growing up now. And I think um, the fact she's growing up is now coming out in her music. Um, I actually quite like the cover shot as well. I think the cover shot's really, really good. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll give this... If I was to give... As a, if, if I was to give Folklore a 9 out of 10, I'd give this an 8. So, you know, that's not bad coming from someone who's not really a Taylor Swift fan. And I bought it on a pump because I thought, I wonder what it's going to be like. And, uh, and I did say after buying Folklore, this is probably going to be the first and last Taylor Swift album I buy. <laughs> How wrong was I? Um, I bought this purely on a pump. And I was quite pleasantly surprised. Um, will it go up in price? I mean, there's different versions. Of it. I think there's three or four different versions of this. They're all limited edition, but they've all got a different bonus track on them. And I forget what this one is now, the bonus track on this. Oh, I have got the shrink wrap. Like I say, um, I'm not going to open this up. It's uh, all sealed up in my Japanese bag. But um, yeah, Taylor Swift. Torture Poets Department, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Um, I was pleasantly surprised, and uh, yeah, it's not a bad album. And um, with that said, after looking at Taylor Swift, normal service will resume next week um, when I hope to do a couple of videos next week, but let's see how it goes. Anyway. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, hit like and subscribe down below. It does make help my channel grow. And I shall see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.